Hello viewers, today's spring 2023 air conditioner startup is the General Electric air conditioner the General Electric ASV05L CS1 5200 BTU air conditioner 9.8 EER for whatever that's worth which is pretty much nothing 4.8 amps R22 from 2002 so this thing is now, uh, was it, 21 years old? Yes, it's got some age to it, uh, but it still is in great shape. The front's kind of yellowed, and if I recall correctly, there was some, yeah, there's going to be some rattling issues, but uh, mechanically, it's in really good condition. There's hardly any rust in there somehow. Coils nice and clean still, so we're good. Uh, good to run it. Um, yeah, it coils really clean still. Hardly any rust anywhere inside the machine, which is really unusual for something of this age. I drilled a drain hole, of course. So now, it uh, this really should be around for a long time because it's not not rusted at all and shouldn't get any more rust. And, Seems like it's generally kind of low hours. It's got a Samsung compressor in there. This is one of those like early, I don't know if this would have been an Energy Star rated or not, but some of these early Energy Star units, the, anything with R22 uh, was generally pretty good even up through the 2000s. And this unit is no exception. This thing really kicks for a 5,000. I had this in the media room last year. And it would drop the room into the low 60s with no problem. It's a small room, but still, that's, that's some pretty good performance. One of the things I like about it is that it's weighted very well. Like it, it, It's not heavy in the back. When it sits in the window, it's pretty well balanced. The compressor is right up in the front. So it's a very good design. Some of the units are real heavy, and you got to support them from the back. This one, I don't, I don't think you need it at all. It's, it's fine the way it is. Uh, I like this design where the register is on the right because it seems like the air throws out into the room better and circulates around better than when the you got the small, the larger register up on the top. Kilowatt meter is MIA. I need to go find it found it. So let's plug that in. And the cord is still in good shape even too. No molded plug disease whatsoever. We've got 118.7 the volts right now. I did calibrate the thermostat. It's uh, 68 over by the thermostat, maybe like 65 over here. It's getting cold today. Clicks on it all the way down. Uh, let's start with the fan first. Fan came right back to life with no problem. And to me, I think this design is better because I'm standing like four feet away from it, and it's just a tremendous gust of air. It's really going to circulate the air around the room much better than uh, than the long register at the top does. Now something about this is not quite aerodynamically correct. If you notice it's got some kickback on the, you can hear it, the restrictive airflow. If I cover this partially, that goes away. So what that means is this blower wheel does not have enough resistance on it. Now the filter broke, so there's no filter there, um, which I really should uh, I should pull this off and just stick a piece of foam on there or something because this is a pain in the neck to clean this thing. But it's um, it's just that filter is not going to add enough restriction to to cause that to go away. But it's just not quite right. And it's kind of annoying to listen to, honestly. You know, if it was just... Like, it could have been corrected so easily. Anyways, that's the low fan. 
Well, it's a cool setting, but it's the, just the theme. And that is uh, 0.44 amps. That's probably a PSC motor, I'm sure. Seems to be in pretty decent balance. Medium, 0.49 amps. And high, 0.51 amps. I don't feel a big difference. It seems like it's just more noise than anything else. I guess this probably is a ball bearing motor. I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess with that spin down, it's got to be a ball bearing. So, hey, these GE units from the early 2000s. Good stuff. I don't know who made these things at the time, but they were solid. All right, now we'll start up the compressor. It's two amps. Hear the gas flowing through. It's not cold yet, it might take some time to build the head pressure. It sounds a little unpleasant, but that's kind of normal since it's been sitting for a long time. Gotta like get the lubrication moving through there again. Power draw is 2.4 amps. I'm not sure why it claims 5, 2.4, I mean it's half of what it claims. And here we go again, this is proof that this older machine really doesn't draw much more power than a new one, especially considering this is going to output much more cooling than a new one that's rated for 5,000. It still doesn't sound too good. Making some interesting refrigeration sounds. The condenser is not in the best of condition as far as uh, the fins are concerned, but it's getting at least 95% airflow through there. I thought I had brought my temperature thing in the jig in here, but now I don't see it. Alright, I gotta go look for that too. Found it. It was down here the whole time, but eh, whatever. At least I found it. So it's uh, been running for several minutes now. The compressor sounds better. Refrigerant going around. It's actually pretty loud. It's throwing out some good heat in the back. Not bad. And now the uh, power draw is going up because the compressor is under load now, so up to 3.4. Actually went up considerably more than I would have expected it to. Of course, if it's hot out, it's going to go up more. I'd be surprised if it goes up another amp and a half. I'll have to check the power draw on this thing when it's actually running in a real-world use case. Well, let's see what our temperature is. It feels nice and cold. Yeah, very, very cold. So, uh, going in, we've got 60... 64, I guess? 67? And it's colder over there. And I'll say it's like 63, 65 going in. We got 40 coming out. So it's a good split, 35 at the bottom. So it's working properly. 
about 34, 35, 36, somewhere in that range. Those things aren't a super accurate way to check the temperature. But it's got a good 20, 30 degree split coming out, so that's fine. There's really not much of a difference in the speeds. In theory, I guess these should always be run on high so that you get as much air as possible through the, through the condenser, but I don't know. There's not a lot of difference in the speeds. I don't know how much of a difference it really is making. Alright, well this one checks out. It's working good and it's ready for another year of reliable operation.